Okay, we're going to pick up uh, where we left off. Um, we're going to start uh, with our first exercise and look into a Rhino in a bit more depth. Um, so we want to go new. Let's hit no. Small object millimeters again. Um, just a different way to get to a new file, so I thought I'd show you that. Um, we'll hit open. Uh, okay, uh, tolerance of 0 0.001 again is, is fine. Um, now in terms of navigation, this is where we're going to start. So um, I want you guys just to look at your four windows. Um, you'll notice if you right mouse click in any of these plan views, um, by plan views I mean just flat. So you can see here this is just YX, um, ZY, etc. And you can see that this one has all three. So if I just use my right mouse, I can do what's known as panning around. And um, that just means to drag the area. I'm going to put an object in here so it makes it makes a bit more sense. Okay. I'm going to put this to shaded. Okay, you can see here I'm panning around here and here. Uh, you'll notice a little bit different in uh, the perspective view. Um, if I right click, I will turn around. So I'll sort of tumble around and rotate around the 3D space. Um, you can't do that in a plan view. Um, so that uh, is just something to be aware of. Um, if I want to pan in the perspective view, I can hold shift and right click and that'll allow me to pan. Um, and that's generally the easiest way to get around an object. Um, zooming in and out is done simply by rolling your mouse wheel in and out. Um, this is a good time to sort of talk about the setup you need to use Rhino. Uh, generally speaking, if you're using it on a laptop, um, you don't want to use a trackpad. Um, with most 3D CAD software, it tends to slow you down. Um, and also, you, you sort of need that middle mouse um, wheel. It makes life nice and easy to zoom in and out. Um, if you don't have that, you'll notice just up here, um, you can zoom with these tools. So just by sort of left clicking and dragging, it'll zoom to an area. Um, or you can do a control plus your right mouse click to zoom in and out. So there are a few ways to get around it if you don't have access to a mouse at the time. So control and right mouse will let you zoom in and out. Um, again, you'll get pretty quick at sort of looking around and navigating around a model. At the, at the start it might seem a bit weird, but um, you'll pick it up pretty quickly. Um, you'll notice here we have a second navigation option which is zoom extents. So if we just click that the, in the active viewport, it's going to bring the model to fill that viewport. So again if we had zoomed right out by accident, that can happen. I just zoomed really far out and we seemingly lost my model. Um, if I just click zoom extents, it brings it straight back. And it'll just do that in your active viewport. Um, right here we have an option for four viewports. Um, if you can't see this menu or have any problems, just make sure you have standard selected up here. There's a number of different menus. Okay. Um, if you notice whenever you hover over anything in Rhino, um, it'll come up with a number of shortcuts. Um, so here we have rotate view, control shift, right mouse button. Uh, rotate camera, control alt right mouse button. So if we do control shift right mouse button does rotate. Same thing as just right mouse button, it's a bit redundant. But uh, control alt right mouse button is different. You can see here the camera itself is moving, um, or the digital camera. Um, which can be handy as well. Um, once you have a complicated model, you need to look at specific areas, it can get a bit tough. Um, again, just zooming in with control and right mouse button. Um, and something to familiarize yourself with there. But if you ever get into trouble, or you want to sort of zoom out, just remember this is here, zoom extents. Um, if you right click on that option, it does them all. And you can see that comes up. Uh, when you hover over it, it's got a left mouse button highlighted, it says zoom extents, and it says right mouse button highlighted, zoom extents all viewports, um, which can make life pretty easy, um, especially when you start out 3D modeling, you can get lost very quickly. 
Um, so that's just about it for navigation. Um, and I'll leave that video there. So um, just familiarize yourself with navigating around the interface, selecting your correct viewport, zooming in and out. And if you get lost, you accidentally zoom out too far and you can't seem to find your work, just go here and hit right click and we'll go back to normal. Alright, thanks guys.